you guys don't remember, Bell Star lost her calf last year. Unknown birthing issue. Marissa and Brooks and I are just about to leave the ranch. We pulled out of the gate and I said, I think I need to check on Bell Star. And it was a good thing that I did. Hey guys, Dusty Baker at Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Guys, I have some of the most amazing footage that I almost missed. I filmed something amazing and I wanna share it with you. What my old coach used to say is, you just gotta have a little luck. Well, I had something deep down in my heart that was telling me, hey Dusty, you need to check one more time. I checked Bell Star twice. Once this morning, I noticed she was by herself. Checked her in the afternoon, still nothing. And now she was hanging out with the herd, so I brushed it off a little bit. But I saw some interesting behavior from her, and I thought she was acting a little bit weird. Marissa and Brooks and I are just about to leave the ranch for the day. We're going home. Work is done. We pulled out of the gate, and I said, I think I need to check on Bell Star. And it was a good thing that I did. Here's what happened, guys. As fast as I could, I flew the drone out there. Once I got there, the herd was still hanging out with her, but I noticed they started leaving and kind of migrating north away from her, and she stayed back. She wasn't moving. So then I knew something was up. Once I got to Bell Star and I zoomed in with the drone, kind of eased up to her. I didn't want to scare her. Our bison are used to the drone because we use it so much, so it doesn't really freak them out that much. But in her situation, I didn't want to stress her out more than she already was. So I zoomed in and what I noticed, she was in labor and there was something coming out of the backside of her and it was coming fast. But here was the bad part. My battery started going dead, which is obviously terrible, terrible timing for a drone to go dead. Luckily, I had one more full battery left. And I told Marissa, the battery's going dead. I gotta send this thing back. I flew the drone all the way back to the front of the Ponderosa, switched out a battery, got it back up as soon as I could and sent it back out to the pasture. So this all happened within a, just a couple of minutes. By this time, the whole herd is gone and she's there. This is the real deal. We're in it. She's having a calf right now. What I'm about to capture is some of the most significant, rare footage to get from American Bison. The next 10 or 15 minutes of what we got to watch is one of the most humbling and special moments of raising these awesome animals. Front feet are coming out, nose is coming out, everything's looking good. But it gets very intense because this is about a two or three minute time where that calf doesn't come out. So at this time, I told Marissa and Brooks, I said, hey, let's go hop in the ATV. And so we actually hopped in the ATV. I still kept the drone flying and we drove about halfway out into pasture one. And then we stopped. The Big Joe herd actually came up to us and was hanging out with us. And I'm sitting here watching this because I wanted to be closer. And in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, okay, well, if this calf gets stuck right here, this is how she could have lost her calf last year. We don't know, right? It's just, this, this is nature, this is how things go. You typically don't have to mess with these animals. They do things on their own, like a deer, elk, moose, wild animals. But me and my heart and my mind, knowing that this could be a dangerous situation, I really wanna get close and I wanna be able to help pull that calf. This is, something I probably wouldn't even be able to do. But in my mind, as an animal lover, you want to go out there and try to save it. You want to help Bell Star and try to get that calf out, even though it's a completely dangerous, dangerous situation. And I don't even know if she would let me. It may stress her out even more, the fact that I'm there. Even though our animals are used to us, didn't go in the pasture that she was in where she was having this calf. And so we waited and we waited and my patience kept getting better and better as I noticed the calf was coming through. But what I noticed that at a brief time, there was no movement from the calf. And that's what really made me nervous thinking about her past and what she went through last year. I'm very nervous, I'm scared. I'm like, she's gonna lose another calf. Kept being patient and I said, it'll be okay, it'll be okay. If we need to run in there, we can. 
Well, after a little while, calf came through and I finally saw some movement. Seem like she's doing good, huh? I think so. Head's bobbling, hadn't got up yet. Of course, that takes 15 plus minutes before they ever get up. Does it? I I'm thinking know. about 15 minutes. Okay. She's trying to. Oh. Little head's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> This is the first time you really like full. Yeah. From a well, it's a drone. Yeah. Trod and trod. Last year with a camera, but from a distance, couldn't see it actually come all the way out. But this is it. This full, full deal here. And it's like such a good thing that it seems like it's doing good because Bell Star is the one that lost a calf last year. Right out here so, in this pasture. Yeah. So. Pasture too. I've been worried about her, but you don't know. You don't know what happened the last time. You don't want it to happen again. After watching this, there's some things that went through my head of, oh, there he's trying to get up. Oh, a little bit. But no, there's things that are go through my head when the, when the calf is, you know, heads out, feet are like this. It's a very tight spot as it's coming out there's a lot of pressure being pushed back after the head comes out vulva or whatever the girl part squeezes back down i mean it's a bowling ball coming through a very small hole right as it's coming through there everything's tightened back and it could have suffocated if it's a big calf like if this is a bull calf and it's big if a big joe baby's too big for the mama or she had him a little late i could see where it's pressed down and suffocates them because they're so big mm -hmm. but i don't know i'm not a vet i'm not an expert that's just something that i was watching here and i'm thinking oh if he it, it, this could suffocate him because he was tongue was out and he was not even moving yeah it's just something that i was like i've heard about if you breed them to a bigger animal if they're a smaller cow and you breed them to a bigger animal you could have issues
but a humbling and beautiful experience to go through and witness. And the great part about it is I got to do it with Marissa and Brooks right there by my side. Sometimes when you just got a gut feeling, you got to go for it. And luckily we did, and we got to catch it all on camera really for the first time all with the drones. Very thankful for what we're able to do. And I'm very thankful that we were able to share it with you guys and you get to be a part of that with us. I hope you felt like you were right there with us and Bell Star, she was going through this experience. Man, we don't appreciate enough what these animals can do on their own. They can have a calf and the calf can be up in a, in a matter of time starting its journey of its own life. Springtime is here. It is red dog season. This will be our biggest calving season ever. Hope you guys are ready for it. Guys, if you enjoy our videos and love what we do, raising the American bison and trying to restore the population, the culture, and the heritage of this once thriving animal, subscribe right here. Join us, follow us along. You can also go visit our website. You can check out all of our bison products at crosstimbersbison.com. Thank you guys. From my heart and the bakers, thank you guys for being a part of a special moment with us. We'll see you soon. Keep on bison ranching.